Hello, everyone. Today we have with us Echo by Pam Munoz Ryan. Hey, everybody. Now, Echo, you cover the story of several children and a harmonica, mostly around the time of World War II. In a brief sentence or two, what else do you want to give us as a, a tease for what's in your story? Sure, my story is first and foremost about individual characters, but it's also about the tensions of war among communities, the comforting and inspiring power of music, and the exquisite beauty of humanity. I can offer you a pretty rich and diverse set of historically relevant experiences. That's an intriguing start. Tell us a little more about what kind of experiences your prospective readers might find in the story. Well, have you ever been to live musical performance and, well into it, you discover this feeling of grand awesomeness and love inside you that makes every trouble you've ever felt shrink into obscurity, leaving you with a reverence for... Well, everything. A reverence that leaves you with a new perspective that lets you see just how beautiful everything you've always taken for granted really is. My hope is that you will get that same experience from reading me. When you open my pages and get into my story, you'll discover in my soul an unrelenting testimony that your life is beautiful and what you do matters. It sounds kind of trite when I say it now, but when you're deep into the text and you look into my soul and see just how much and how earnestly I mean those words, you'll understand. You'll see the profound truth that what you do really, really matters. And seeing that truth will probably make you cry. I don't know, though. Maybe the story won't matter as much to you as it did to me. We can all be so different, after all. Well, toward the end of the story, I definitely cried. And I don't cry over books very often. Well, unless I'm reading Frances Hodgson Burnett. The Little Princess and The Lost Prince, I cry every time I read either of those books. The experience those books give is out of this world. I guess I'll have to give them a read then. Oh, do. You would love them. Read The Secret Garden, too. All three of those books fit really well with your take on the world. They're probably actually more in your genre than any other book I've read. I'll introduce you to them right after this interview. I think you'll become instant friends with all of them. Even The Secret Garden, who is usually very slow when it comes to budding friendships. Wow, no pressure there at all, huh? Don't worry. I have seen into your soul and theirs. You'll get along nicely. Now, all of your viewpoint characters are older children. Are you a children's book? I think older children could definitely be ready for me, but adults who pick me up will probably find that my story is for them as well. Would you say that you're more for adults than you are for children? The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak might be a good comparison, though I'd say the content of my story is probably lighter. And the three Burnett books I mentioned earlier, they're also good comparisons. Probably. My point is, I think my story is told in such a way that anyone capable of reading my pages could be ready for it. My story is simple, yet profound. Like some of the great music out there, my story could touch and change the heart of anyone who ventures to listen. Maybe I'm being too bold here and overestimating myself, but I really do believe what I'm saying. Are there any final things you want to say to the audience before we finish? Any warnings people should know about, anything like that? Yes, I should warn you guys. Read me, and you might be filled with an overpowering urge to start playing the harmonica. This warning might be especially relevant to you parents. Let your kid read me, and you might find yourself stuck raising a musician. There, you've been warned. Of course, I do think the experience is worth the cost, but earplugs might suddenly become a really good investment. Everyone give Echo a read if you think he's your kind of book. If he isn't, share this video with someone who would really enjoy reading him. Also, mention other books with similar things in the comments so your fellow viewers who are interested in this kind of thing can find more of what they love. As always, it's been a pleasure to have you. And cut! You mentioned The Book Thief. We have a copy of her down near the dystopian books. Have you met our copy of her yet? No, not yet. I've been fast friends with every copy of Book Thief I've met so far, though. Well, excellent! How about I take you down to meet her, and then the three of us can go up and spend some time with the Frances Hodgson Burnett books. What do you say? That sounds great!